the Galaxy Note 10 Plus may just be the perfect phone for content creators. More on how and why in this video coming up. By this time, you've probably seen a shit ton of content on this thing. This is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Rainbows are pretty, but I like my phones in pink. And I really don't want to be breaking a phone with an all-glass back, so... Slapping a pink case on. Anyway, with my time with a phone, I figured that this thing can be the perfect phone for content creators. How? So for the vloggers or videographers, of course, there are three main cameras on the back of this device and all of those can be utilized for video. That means three different perspectives automatically while shooting with this phone. Another cool feature would be the steady mode which allows you to walk and talk while not getting your viewers dizzy. This is a super steady mode. This is the normal mode. There's also an audio zoom which is pretty impressive. Basically, you can zoom into whatever you're shooting and it also amplifies the audio. Try out the audio zoom. I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can, then help. It's how working. And then there are additional features like the slow-mo, the super slow-mo, the hyperlapse, which can give an extra um to your videos. run around with a Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I really feel that this phone is more than enough for simple vlogging. But wait, there's more. You can actually edit your videos on this thing. For photographers, of course, the same three camera setup applies and we all know that Samsung camera phones are really, really good. Know what else the zoom is good for? Well, I really don't want to walk all the way to that globe to take that photo because it's so hot out. <laughs> and since I don't want to do that, I'm just going to zoom to get the same shot. If you're sort of new to photography, there's also AI on this phone that will actually suggest to you what the best shot is. We're now moving to the less traditional content creators, so this phone is also perfect for the IG models. Well, for one, you can shoot selfies like never before. The S Pen actually allows you to control the camera, so you get that perfect shot always. You can learn more about the S Pen on the previous video I shot, which pitted the S Pen against my actual Instagram boyfriend. Even with just one camera on that punch hole up front, you still get two point of views. You get a normal selfie mode and you get this wider frame. Also for women who have tiny girly hands like mine, they have a floating shutter button which you can just turn on. Basically, you can move this button around and it'll make it easier for you to take that selfie with your tinier thumb. There are also other remote shutter features like the volume shutter which allows you to literally tell your phone to take that photo. Capture! And then there's the palm shutter which honestly is the easiest way to take selfies. For the social media influencers, this phone can be super fun when it comes to your Instagram stories. AR Doodle is the best way to add flair to your Instagram stories and such. It is basically something that allows you to draw on thin air and it's AR so it follows you around. I must warn you that drawing on yourself is not the easiest task. I'm supposed to be Sailor Moon but it took me like the last 10 minutes drawing this failed little headdress over here. Live focus also comes to video and when you have this first filter which is the normal blur filter where you can adjust the level of blur. There's also the live focus filter called the big circle which gives you circular blurs in the background. There's also color point which as you can see is pretty cool. It sort of makes you the star in your own Instagram story movie. Then there's the all-time favorite, this glitch filter, which 
actually is pretty cool actually it does look great um, any single one of these live focus features ensures that you're the star in whatever video you're shooting and I can see them be used for Instagram and yes AR emojis are still a thing they are pretty cute and the avatars are awesomely something I'd still use but as you can see they're not the best when it comes to videos like this nonetheless Look at me in Cartoon World. For the game streamer, yes, you can actually play on this thing, shoot your game, and shoot your reactions all at the same time. Yes, I repeat all that on this smartphone. You can even annotate on the game itself as you record. And there you have it. Those are a lot of reasons why this phone can actually be a great device for a content creator if you are one. I'm not saying that this thing can fully replace whatever gear or tech you have. And I'm also not saying that this thing will give you skill to create whatever content you want to make. But it's really impressive that all those features are in the palm of my hand with a Galaxy Note 10 Plus.